What is going on guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look on why smurfing is no longer welcome in Dota 2. It never has been. And I think this image is actually quite hilarious. It's the Banhammer from Dawnbreaker. And it's always kicking Meepo's ass. So pretty much Meepo has been the most popular hero for smurfs as is a very difficult hero to play and it can definitely take over the game and win games in pretty much the fastest manner rather than any other hero in the game. Invoker has also been used for that, but mainly Meepo as its power spikes are a lot faster than any other hero and it can be pretty much abused the most in Dota 2. So today we have permanently banned 90,000 smurf accounts that have been active over the last few months. Smurf accounts are alternate accounts used by players to avoid playing at the correct MMR, to abandon games, to cheat, to grief, or to otherwise be toxic without consequence. Additionally, we have traced every single one of these Smurf accounts back to its main account. Going forward, a main account found associated with a Smurf account could result in a wide range of punishments from temporary adjustments to behavior scores to permanent account bans. This is a really big deal. Even pro players have got their accounts banned because for the longest time, pro players have been able to play on their Smurf accounts, not because they really want to play against lower ranked players. It's because their queue times are so long. But regardless of that, they're playing against players that they shouldn't be playing up against. If you are a 5k MMR player, you really don't want to be playing up against Miracle. You don't want to play against Sumail. You don't want to play against these professional players because you're going to get your ass kicked. So it's not really fun for anybody, even if you're up at that higher echelon of MMR. It's still not fun. You still get smurfed on. And even pro players complain themselves who don't have smurf accounts about smurfing so you can imagine what happens when somebody is in herald guardian or any of the lower mmr brackets they will definitely notice when there's a smurf so there's definitely going to be a lot of people getting banned and hopefully the correct people get banned because i've heard a lot on reddit that a lot of accounts have actually been getting banned that aren't actually smurfing because they have like 10,000 games the account's been with them for such a long time and they just happen to have a really good game and it makes them look like a smurf so hopefully there's a little bit of tweaking to the system to where just because you had a really good game or on a hero like meepo you're a spammer and that doesn't really make you a smurf just because you're good at meepo so hopefully the system isn't too broken and if it is they should definitely fix it quickly as i've heard that some people have been losing their accounts so definitely keep an eye out for that as we said earlier this year in our blog post about cheating and their summer client update we will continue to say dota is best enjoyed when people are on an even playing field the quality of people in a given match are what makes a match good we're invested in making sure the matches are as good as possible and smurfing makes matches worse as always if you suspect someone of smurfing in your game use the in-game reporting options to flag them this will help us continue to track offenders and gather data used to inform our anti-smurf efforts moving forward so definitely this is a really big deal for dota there's always going to be smurfs no matter how good the system is there's always going to be some smurfs in there but the most important thing is that in the majority of your lobbies you're probably not going to see too many smurfs and they're going to be quite scared to even play heroes like meepo if they are a smurf because if you see a guy who has four games on meepo showing on his profile but he has a 100 percent win rate and every single game he's playing meepo he's getting rampages and his account is full of rampages you automatically almost know that that account is a smurf account there's a bunch of people with over 200 300 win sprees on heroes that most people in that bracket don't even play they're playing off meta heroes as well just because they're just that good of a player because they don't belong in this bracket they're in the 2k bracket but they're 5k players it's a really big difference when you're playing against lower mmr players because they don't have the understanding these guys have not only of in-game mechanics they know their timings a lot better they know exactly when they need to farm they need to fight some games you guys are absolutely stomping the enemy team but there's one player that you haven't seen for a really long time the guy who's not taking bad fights the guy who knows exactly what he needs to be doing on the map and then all of a sudden you see that player showing up with a bunch of items and just killing you off cooldown you're like what is going on here we've been killing their team for the last 20 minutes but we haven't been able to end the game and all of a sudden you guys are in the back foot and all of a sudden you guys are losing the game now just because somebody makes a comeback doesn't mean they're a smurf it's very difficult especially in low mmrs when you are herald guardian even archon when you're in that mmr bracket for somebody to be making comebacks and especially pretty consistently it's pretty difficult because you're in a low mmr bracket you don't understand dota to the understanding that these smurf players do and when you see a meepo player it's pretty much a smurf most of the time unless they're a spammer 
just because Meepo is one of the most popular Smurf heroes ever in Dota, it can definitely take over games within 20 minutes and win the game. These guys have insane micro abilities. That is why they pick Meepo because it's the most abusable hero. They will either play Meepo, they will play Invoker. These heroes can definitely take over the game under the right hands. And if they know their timings correctly, they're going to be doing a lot of damage to people. So hopefully this isn't a big problem going forward. They're going to keep banning accounts. And it's going to make Dota a lot cleaner. And it's going to make it a lot less toxic as well. Because these Smurfs are actually pretty toxic players. And they will bash on their allies for playing bad. Even though they don't belong in this bracket. You can't really tell somebody that they're a bad player. When you're a 5k player and they're a 2k player. It's a really big difference. They haven't gotten to the stage of gameplay that you have gotten to. So it's very difficult for you to be telling somebody what to do and things like that. And they're definitely going to report you and you're going to get banned. So hopefully, guys, do not smurf. If you guys want to play heroes like Meepo and you are a smurf and whatnot, play turbos, play casual games. Dota doesn't really care about that. They care about ranked games because it's not fair. People are putting their time and their MMR on the line for a smurf to be in their game and for them to get absolutely rolled with nothing they can do about it because they're getting absolutely outskilled. It's something very difficult to deal with and it's very tilting and it has stopped players from playing Dota in the past and Dota has lost a lot of their player base due to smurfing and even pro players have talked about it that have smurf accounts. They say that they've been doing it because of the queue times but it doesn't matter what you're doing it for. Wait the longer queue times in Immortal but don't smurf. It's not cool. Have one account, your main account, grind it out and don't smurf it's just not cool guys let me know what you guys think is dota doing the right thing i definitely think they are on the path to the right thing i hope they ban every single smurf account in dota 2 and i hope they don't make too many mistakes or any mistakes at all by banning other people's accounts who are not smurfs they definitely need to take a look at the account levels and the matches played i hope the system actually takes that into account because if you have a guy who's got 10,000 games and he's only archon or something like that he's a 2k player that's definitely not a smurf because smurf accounts are usually very low level accounts full of rampages full of wins really high win streaks on heroes that aren't meta or that are really abusable like meepo and invoker they definitely need to take a look at that because that's what we do in the community we'll take a look at somebody and we'll see that they have 200 games and they're playing absolutely insane when you look they have like 200 wins on meepo in a row with a 90 percent win rate so automatically you are thinking that dude is a smurf and most of the time they definitely are and when you report them you actually get your report back because they are smurfing hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video valve has been dropping the ban hammer and we're all super excited to be playing our games with less toxic people and also less smurfs it's definitely a very big change for dota and i'm super excited to be getting myself into some ranked games almost free of smurfs Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I like it much appreciated. I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.